Let somebody shout hallelujah. Let us pray. We are grateful, oh God. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, oh Lord. Hallelujah for you have done for us. Hallelujah. We are grateful. Oh Lord, Almighty Father, we are grateful indeed for all that you have done for us in this program, especially the past editions of this program. We thank you for salvation of souls. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you for increasing us and blessing every listener around the globe. Our Almighty Father, we cannot quantify what you have done for us on this platform, but comprehensively, we appreciate all that you have done and we return all the glory unto you. Accept our times in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Almighty, once again, we are here this day for another edition of the Moment of Truth. Bless us and bless every year of your word in every nation of the world, in the mighty name of Jesus. Show your almighty names in our lives today, even as we listen to your word on this altar and on this platform, the moment of truth, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, almighty Father, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. And once again, I want to welcome you into another edition of the moment of truth in the name of God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. I pray for somebody today that the Almighty God will bless us better and our lives will never remain the same again in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, I decree. So today, the theme of our message is the Almighty God, part one. The Almighty God, part one. That is the theme of the moment of truth for today. The Almighty God, part one. So it's in a series. We are just starting the series today. And in the Lord Tarries, we continue when next we meet by His grace. Our text is taken from Genesis chapter 17, verse 1. Genesis chapter 17, verse 1. I read, And when Abraham was 90 years old and nine, the Lord appeared to Abraham and said unto him, I am the Almighty God. Walk before me, be thou perfect. I am the Almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. It was God Himself that introduced Himself as the Almighty God here. Not that somebody introduced Him. No. Our God is a faithful God, He is a truthful God. Whatever He says about any person, that is how that thing is. Whatever He says about any situation, that is how that situation is. Whatever He says, but in self, brethren, that is how God is. He said, among other things, I am the Almighty God. Almighty. He said, but in self, as the one that can be called Almighty God. Almighty is the amalgamation of two key ways, or and then might. That is, the one that has, that has all the power and all the might. So, our God is a personality that is vested, divinely vested with all the power and all the might in the universe. So, our God has all the power and he has all the might. He is the almighty. He has every power and every 
might. This should be a sharing news to somebody because our God that we are serving has the supreme power to rule and then to overrule, to make and then to unmake, to destroy the work of the enemies in your life, to promote to, to set to you, as we are going to see later. I just pray that this almighty God will work for somebody today, and if you are the person, you better say, Amen, loud and clear. This almighty God is an unlimited God. If he's almighty, it means that he has the power to do everything and all things. So he's an unlimited God. And that is the area we are going to look at this almighty God today. He is an unlimited, unlimited God. He is unlimited in everything. He is unlimited. In all things, he is unlimited. To be unlimited is to be self-sufficient. To be self-sufficient. To have more than enough. That is this almighty God. So among other things, our God is unlimited. The almighty God is un unlimited. In the following areas, number one, he is unlimited in power. Our God, the Almighty God, is unlimited in power because He has all the power and all the might. All power belongs to Him, both in heaven and on earth. According to Psalms chapter 62, verse 11, Psalms 62, verse 11, He says, God has spoken once, twice have I heard this, that power belongeth unto God. Power belongeth unto God. This should be a sharing news for you. If you are a child of God and the power belongs to your father, then your father can use that power to better your life. Power is the ability to do things or to perform an art. So our God has the power to do whatever thing he want to do in our life. Now, let us look at the implication of this, at least to us. Number one, God, the Almighty God, who is unlimited in everything, who is unlimited in power, has the power to bless and prosper us. That is the first implication of his unlimited power. This man, this God, has the power to bless and prosper us. According to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 8, verse 18. Deuteronomy 8, 18. It says, But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wet. Can we see? It is God that gives us the power to get wet. This God is unlimited in power. He can give us power to get wet, to be prosperous financially, to become worthy and to flourish financially. I pray today the power to prosper receive today in God in the mighty name of Jesus. Number two, he has the power to promote us to the highest level in life. Don't forget this God, this almighty God is unlimited in power. Not only that he can bless and prosper us with his own power, he can so also Use the power to promote us to the highest level in life. According to Psalms 75, verses 6 to 7. Psalms 75, verses 6 to 7. It says, For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the joy. He put her down one and set up up another. Can we see this? God, who is unlimited in power, this almighty God, who is unlimited, unlimited in power, has the power to promote us to the highest point. Because the Bible says, promotion comes not either from the east or from the west or from the south. But God is the promoter. He can decide to promote anybody beyond human standard. And nobody can query. Him. I decree today into your life that this power of God, this power, the unlimited power 
or this almighty God will promote you to an enviable status in life in the name of Jesus. And eventually, when you get there, when you arrive at the top, this almighty God will overshadow you with his hand. And you will never crash from the top in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, number one thing about this almighty God is that this almighty God is unlimited in, a, in power. And we have seen that he has the power to bless and to prosper us. We have also seen that he has the power to promote us to the highest point in, in life. Now, number two, this almighty God, who is unlimited in everything, is unlimited in glory. Not only that he's unlimited in power, he also he is also unlimited in, in glory. Psalm 24 verse 10 says, Who is this king of glory? He is the Lord of hosts. He is the king of uh, glory. So our God is the king of glory, the maker of glory himself. So he is unlimited in glory. By the way, what is glory? Glory means beautiful things, beautiful situation, and beautiful occurrences. This should be good news to somebody that this almighty God, who is unlimited in glory, is able to do beautiful things for you, to take you to a beautiful situation, and to cause beautiful occurrences to happen in your life. I decree today, that our God, who is unlimited in glory, we accord you beautiful things, beautiful situations, and beautiful occurrences in life, in every place of life, in the mighty name of Jesus. Because the King of glory is here. Everything about you from today shall become glorious, shall become beautiful in the mighty name of Jesus. Number three, our almighty God, who is unlimited in everything, is unlimited in performance. Is unlimited in performance. His performance can never be limited, can never be stopped, can never be hindered. Once he decides to do something, nobody can stop him. Nobody can stop him. So, he is full of capacity to perform whatever he says because power and might belong to him because he is the almighty God. In Romans chapter 4 verse 21. Romans chapter 4 verse 21. I read first from King James Version. He says, And being fully persuaded that what he has promised, he was able also to perform. What he has promised, he is able to perform. That should be cherry news to somebody. Everything that God has promised you to do for you, he has the ability, the capability, and the capacity to perform them. And I decree today, in your lifetime, before it is too late, very, very soon, every good thing the Lord has promised you, he will perform in the mighty name of Jesus. The same passage, Romans chapter 4, Verse 21. Let me read it in NIV. NIV. Being fully persuaded that God had power to do what he had promised. Can we see? He had the power to do, to perform what he has promised. So our God is unlimited in performance. We can never measure his ability to perform. He can do all things he is the almighty God because he is the almighty God he can do all things he can perform every one of his promises for your life I pray today that God in his mercy divine will perform all his promises for your life in the mighty name of Jesus number four this almighty God who is unlimited in everything he is unlimited in greatness he is unlimited in, in greatness. Our God is the greatest in everything and in all things. No human being, no angel, no creation in heaven, on earth, underneath can claim equality with the person of the Almighty God. No, it is not possible. Our God is unlimited in greatness. He is greater 
than anybody, than any power, than any authority, than any, any spirit in the whole universe. In Psalm, in Second Samuel chapter 7, verse 22. Second Samuel chapter 7, verse 22. I read, We are for thou art great, O Lord God, for there is none like thee, neither is there any God beside thee, according to all that we have had with our ears. Can we see? Can we see? Our God is great. Is great. Nobody can be compared uh, with him. Nobody. Nobody. Our God is great. There is none like him. No other person. No other person is fearful in holiness. Is glorious in praise. Nobody can be compared with him. Now, when we look at Psalms 48, verses 1 to 2. Psalm 48, verses 1 to 2. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. The city of our God in the month of his holiness. Beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole world is small Zion on the south of the north, the city of the great king. Can we see? He said, great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God. In the mountain of his holiness, beautiful for situations, the joy of the whole heart is from Zion on the side, southern on the city of the great king. Is from Zion on the side, southern on the city of the great king. Great is our Lord. Great is our God. What is the implication of his greatness? That is, God is greater among other things is greater than our problem is greater than your problem is greater than your challenge is greater than your enemies is greater than your weaknesses is greater than any negative experience and situation you find yourself in life so god is greater than your challenge is greater than your situation that is negative now is greater than your problem. So this one should give us rest of mind that we are serving a God or we have a father who is greater than our problem that is, he is able to provide solution to our life's problem. He is able to destroy every problem, every challenge, every difficult situation in our life. And he is able to accord us a new beginning in every phase of life because he is the almighty God that is great. I decree today the power of almighty God, the greater power of the almighty God will manifest in our life, in our situation, and he will use his great power to destroy every problem and every challenge in our way, in our life, in our ministry, in our family. And great shall our testimony be in the mighty name of Jesus. If you agree with me, shout amen loud and clear. Now, number five. This almighty God, who is unlimited in everything, is unlimited in riches. <clears throat> our God is unlimited in riches. This almighty God is unlimited in riches. He owns everything on earth. He owns everything on earth. According to Psalm 24 verse 1, Psalm 24 verse 1, the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Can we see our God is unlimited in riches? He owns everything in this world. Every natural resources belongs to him. He said the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Agai 2.8. Agai 2.8 says, The silver is mine, that is God talking, and the gold is mine, said the Lord of hosts. Can we see? He said the gold, the silver in the whole world belong to him. So our God is is rich 
in gold is rich, in silver is rich, in crude oil is rich, in every mineral resources, in every natural resources in the world. The one that have been discovered and many that are yet to be discovered. So our God is unlimited in riches. His riches could not be quantified by any economist or by any banker. No, his riches straight beyond human comprehension. So this is good news to we, his children, that if our God is unlimited in riches, he is able and is more than ready to bless us with that unlimited uh, riches. So good news to somebody that is still struggling to excel in life, I declare today the power of God that make people to be worthy and to be riches receive now in the name of Jesus. The mercy of God that will bless you beyond your expectation, especially financially. Receive that power today in the name of Jesus. So we have a God, we have a Father who is unlimited in riches. His riches is available for you and for me. We only need to ask Him and He will give us in the name of Jesus because He is a loving Father. He will never, never deny us. So today decide to ask God to bless and to prosper you with His unlimited riches and it's going to be so in the mighty name of Jesus. But then there's what I need to say. When God blesses you, that blessing will be permanent. It will not be short-lived. It will become generational. Even when you die, your children will continue to enjoy that blessing, that is she is from God, from generation to generation. I pray today that will be our Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, the last point now, I think that is point number five. This almighty God who is unlimited in everything he is also unlimited in authority. Our Almighty God is unlimited in authority. Whatever He says, both in heaven and on earth, will surely come to pass because He has the authority to do whatever He says. He has the final say on any issue, on every issue concerning your life. No man has the final say except God. So God is the one, is that personality that has the final say in the matter relating to your life, to your promotion, to your elevation, your settlement. Not your boss, not even your pastor, not even any other person, but the Lord Almighty has the authority to say, this is what is going to happen to you, and this is what is going to become in life. So he has the final say in your life. In Genesis chapter 1, when we read verses 1 downward, we can see the person of this God, Genesis chapter 1, 1 downward. This almighty God that has unlimited authority, decree, he says, let there be light, and there was light. He said, let there be firmament, and there was firmament. He said, let there be sea, and there was sea. He said, let there be day, there was day. He said, let there be night, and there was night. Everything he says used to come to pass. And I, and I know today, God is saying something good into your life. Because I am representing that God today, because you can never see God face to face with this matter body, but today, I am representing him in your life. So, I decree into your life that every darkness in your life, spiritual darkness, financial darkness, let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be light. I decree good things to enter into your life today in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree a new beginning of joy, a new beginning of celebration into your life from today. I decree a change of life for the better for you in every phase of life. You that is sick, I decree healing and perfect health for you in the name of Jesus. You that is barren, I decree fulfillment for you in the mighty name of Jesus. You that is poor and wretched, I decree prosperity, financial prosperity into your life in the name of Jesus. You that is failing, I decree success into your life in the name of Jesus. You that have been frustrated, I decree celebration into your life in the name of Jesus. 
move from the part of frustration to the part of celebration now in the name of Jesus. You that is down, get up now and occupy your position in the higher place in the mighty name of Jesus. You that is weak, receive strength now in the mighty name of Jesus. You that is weeping, receive laughter now in the name of Jesus. You that is sorrowful, receive joy now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, I decree. Very, very soon, you come back, you write us, or you send your text message, or you email us to share the testimony of this decree into your life. Because today, Almighty God, whom I'm representing here today, has decreed beautiful things, beautiful situations, and beautiful occurrences into your life. And surely, everything will come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, before we pray, there is something I need to say. In the book of Proverbs chapter 20 verse 13, it says, He that covereth his sin shall not uh, prosper, but he that confesseth and forsaketh it shall obtain uh, mercy. This almighty God, though his power to bless and to prosper is unlimited, but your sin can limit the power of God in your life. Your sin can incapacitate God. Your sin can make God to be helpless in your matter. With that sin in your life, God will not be able to help you. Now, you know you are a sinner. You still commit sin. Or you are a bastard. You know yourself. You know your spirit. You know your spiritual state. You better don't deceive yourself. If there is any sin in your life to confess, wherever you are hearing me now, wherever you are hearing me now, in every nation of the world, you, you, you better start now to confess your sin unto God. Maybe you are yet to be born again. You are yet to surrender your life to Jesus Christ. There is no other better time than now. Wherever you are here now, just pray to God. I am a sinner. I am a sinner. I confess my sin. I, I may not be able to remember her, but comprehensively, I am a sinner. Tell me, Lord God Almighty, I repent of my many sins and I confess to you today, I seek for your pardon. Forgive me. In your mercy, forgive me. You promise to wash away my sin. Lord God Almighty, wash away my sin with the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. And now, start to pray for the grace to go and sin no more. Pray now. Ask God, God, give me the grace to go and sin no more. I want to serve you. Give me the grace to serve you and work for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Continue to pray now. He is listening to you and he will answer you. He will forgive you and write your name in the book of life. He will give you the grace to serve him for the rest of your life. He will give you the grace to go and to see no more in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Thank you for bringing souls unto you to this message. I pray today for everyone that has come unto you, the grace to go as no more and the grace to serve you, you bestow upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that on the last day, this message will justify many people in the mighty name of Jesus. It will justify me also in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are free. Now, we move to that, the latter part of this message where we used to pray. Just seven prayer points at a go. Now be ready to pray in the name of Jesus. This Almighty God has the full power to answer prayer. So every prayer we are going to pray here today, it will answer up by fire in the name of Jesus. Usually we pray in the name of Jesus. Now get me to pray as follows. Shout in the name of Jesus. Number one prayer point. Almighty Father, say after me, Almighty Father, Show your mightiness in the affairs of my life. Pray. Almighty Father, in the name of Jesus, Almighty Father, show your mightiness in the affairs of my life. Show your mightiness in the affairs of my life. Almighty Father, show your mightiness in the affairs of my life. You are the Almighty God. Show your mightiness in the affairs of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Prayer number two, shout to the name of Jesus and say, Almighty Father, let your mighty power bless 
and prosper me beyond any measure. In the name of Jesus, Almighty Father, let Almighty Power bless and prosper me beyond any measure. In the name of Jesus, Almighty Father, let Almighty Power bless and prosper me beyond any measure. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we are freed. Amen. Prayer number three, shout in the name of Jesus and say, Almighty Father, let Almighty Power promote and elevate me. Almighty Father, let Almighty Power promote and elevate me. In the name of Jesus, Almighty Father, let Almighty Power promote and elevate me. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen and amen. Now, prayer number four. Shout to the name of Jesus and say, Almighty Father, let your mighty power say to me with beautiful things, beautiful situation, and beautiful occurrences. Almighty Father, let your almighty power say to me with beautiful things, beautiful situations, and beautiful occurrences. Almighty Father, let your mighty power said to me with beautiful things, beautiful situations, and beautiful occurrences in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Prayer number five, shout to the name of Jesus and say, Almighty Father, let your mighty power perform all your good promises for my life. In the name of Jesus, Almighty Father, let your mighty power perform all your good promises for my life in the name of Jesus, Almighty Father. Let your mighty power perform all your good promises for my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Prayer number six. Shout in the name of Jesus and say, Almighty Father, let your mighty power take me to the realms of supernatural greatness. Almighty Father, let your mighty power takes me to the realm of supernatural greatness. Almighty Father, let your mighty power taste me to the realms of supernatural greatness. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we are free. And finally, prayer number seven, shout to the name of Jesus and say, Almighty Father, let your mighty power bless and prosper me. In the name of Jesus, Almighty Father, let your mighty power bless and prosper me. In the name of Jesus, Almighty Father, let your mighty power bless and prosper me. In the name of Jesus, Almighty Father, let your mighty power bless and prosper me. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Almighty Father. In Jesus' name, I decree. And so, Almighty Father, we want to thank you for another edition of the Moment of Truth. The Almighty God, part one of it, I set our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray your mighty power will bless and say to us, and you are the Lord that answered by fire. All this prayer pray to God, answered by fire, and let great testimony follow it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. In Jesus' name, I decree. Amen and amen. Thank you for coming today. The Lord bless you. If the Lord tell us, we shall meet again on this platform. Once again, let somebody shout, Hallelujah!